DSC stands for Digital Supply Chain Group, and that group here in LA is made up of a few smaller groups, so including um, content distribution, uh, content QC, which is quality control, content localization, which are the folks who make the subtitles and the dubs and the 20 plus languages that Netflix service is available in. And uh, we also have our media engineering and partnerships group. So think of those guys as the, uh, the technical know-hows who work with our either creative partners or content partners, the studios to understand how to deliver content to us. Hey guys, how are you? Is everyone getting excited? We're about two weeks out from launch and I just wanted to do a quick round table and make sure that everything's on schedule and there are no surprises. So during the onboarding process, we work with our production partners to review our technical specifications and our delivery requirements. And throughout the production process, we closely collaborate to ensure that we're meeting the milestone dates that have been established that allow us to successfully launch our titles. Scheduling externally sort of takes two routes, right? You have to schedule with the post team and make sure that they're finishing their materials on time, finishing the episodes or the films on time. But you also have to schedule with your localization partners and your delivery partners to make sure that the dubs are being delivered on time and everything else we need to go live. It takes a lot of assets to launch something globally. Uh, Luke Cage launched as an example with about 730 assets or so. So the main goal is to ensure that we're always providing the best customer experience and providing great content. And you should be able to enjoy that and receive that personalized experience regardless of where you are in the world. So my team works very close to the material in order to set our vendors up for the best success to make the best product. Right now, localizing a show into as many as 24 languages at once. So it's definitely a huge amount of assets to manage. For a lot of our rest of world countries, we launched with English only. And as we add subtitles to these markets, we're able to bring those stories in the local language to these consumers. For a lot of our members, accessibility is a huge part of what we do. Closed captioning for the deaf and hard of hearing and audio description for the visually impaired allows us to bring our stories to all of our members. The Netflix QC team is handling thousands of titles, everything from House of Cards, Orange is the New Black, Stranger Things, to all of our licensed content. And so we need people who can come in and be passionate about making sure the customer has the best possible experience, who can innovate because with the scale of content that we have, we have to be smarter about the way we work. Quality control at Netflix has a pretty big scope. We're looking at the video, we're looking at the audio, both stereo and 5.1. We're looking at all these secondary audio assets. We're looking at the subtitles, the captions, the audio description. And we have to partner with multiple teams to make sure that that gets done. We want people who can come in and forge strong partnerships with these other digital supply chain teams because crucial to our scaling with the originals content, with our licensed content, and being a global platform, we need teams that are aligned and working in unison. So what we do is we ensure that the digital supply chain upstream um, is as optimized and reliable as possible. Moving further down the pipeline, uh, we work with uh, all the creative post facilities to make sure that all the content that's created uh, is done in 4K. Uh, we also work with the DP, the VFX houses, the editorial houses, finishing houses to make sure that the color pipeline is well defined and well understood throughout so that all the technical hurdles are out of the way um, and they can understand and just focus on the creative aspects. I think often when people start new at a company, they want to figure out what the rules are. They want to know what the boundaries are. And here at Netflix, we don't seek to set rules. We provide context. So context, not control, is something that we talk about. As a company, we're constantly innovating and growing, and we need people who are going to do the same.